I'm live. Hello. Only took six tries this time. Anybody out there? <laughs> Hope anybody finds me. They probably think I gave up on it. We shall see, right? <sighs> Let's put it on live chat. Hello, hello, is anybody out there? Where's my hand at? Left hand is on the right, right hand's on the left. <laughs> okay, writing is backwards. Hmm. Interesting. Hello. I'm just going to wait, see if anybody comes on. There's Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Well, you might be the only one <laughs> today. I don't know. I was kind of expecting a couple more people, but it took me six tries to get on today as a live. So, ugh. yeah, not good. I don't know if it was because I was I'm uploading another video and it's almost done. Hi, Barbara. You just woke up. Wow. You must be a night person. Yeah, okay, my other video just finished uploading, so maybe that was why it wouldn't let me. It kept saying going live, going live, but it wouldn't take the snapshot and it wouldn't go live. So I kept exiting it out and trying again, but I'm thinking maybe it's because that other video was still uploading. You are a night person, Barbara. <laughs> How's everybody doing? You guys been crafting anything? Just chit chat for a few minutes to see if anybody else comes on. So what we're going to do today, attempt to do, I've never done one of these live. And, um, but to me, it's like making a bunch of cards and putting them together a little more to it than that. Um, if you watch my vintage hop, the um, it was video 9 30 the second week i did that vintage christmas flip book with tags in each pocket and i'm going to do a similar flip book hi nix how are you thanks for coming i wasn't sure anybody'd find me because it took me six tries to get this thing going today <laughs> so i'm late i'm late i'm late i'm late for a very important date but and my voice is holding out pretty good i might have to cough every now and then and i'll pause and take a sip of water there's there's um so far we just have jerry barbara and nix oh gosh jerry i wonder why it said error try it again if you have it try it again when i video on my phone I use Movie Maker. Hi, Kim Lee from Arizona. Thanks for coming. Um, when I video from my phone, which I, I don't do very often anymore because my phone um, has very little space on it to do videos, so they have to be really short. Um, anyway, when I do, I and even when I video on this webcam, which is a which is a Logitech 1080 something or other, I forget, um, which I use a, in a port through my laptop, which is sitting to my left, which looks like you're right. Anyway, I use Movie Maker. It's a free software on my computer. Hi, Alicia. Welcome to One Peaceful Mind is Alicia. Now, do you say Alicia or Alicia? <laughs> Like a cha or a s. <laughs> Just want to make sure I'm saying it right. <clears throat> I think when I watch your videos, you say Alicia, but I could be wrong. All right. Well, I don't want to just bore you with all that stuff, but I use Movie Maker to edit and then I um, upload from my laptop always. I never upload directly from my phone. Um, the problem I have with my laptop, just one more little bit here, is 
it's not normally up in my craft room. So I'm always lugging it back and forth and connecting the webcam to it to do these videos and stuff. And it's kind of a pain. I or definitely I need a new I need a bigger house <laughs> to house all my wonderful crafty goodness and plus my regular life stuff, <laughs> which is almost all downstairs. But even my jewelry, my show jewelry stuff that's in my cases to take with me to shows is in a corner of my living room. So uh, my living room is not that big. Between my mom's stuff coming here and my expanding craft, crafty goodness, it seems. Um, yeah, I'm out of room. Okay. All right. So I did a little bit of pre-planning, but not a whole lot. Alicia, okay. Alicia, like two S's. Okay, thank you. Alicia, got it. Alicia. Uh, anyway, the last time I did a live, we made this little heart rosette. So I thought I'd use that on the cover of this flip book this time because I haven't used it yet. And I kind of went through. Now, when I did that other flip book, I want to show you these. I use these coordinations craft envelopes and I just want to show you the difference. I, I like these better for flip books because of their flap. See the flap? It's rounded. Most envelopes have this kind of flap and I'm using this one today and I don't know where I got these. They were like um, about 10 in a pile and they're not stamping up. Neither one of these are. But these weren't in a wrapper, so uh, these are the ones I'm not using. But I do like this better for a flap on a flip book. I just feel like it's more sturdy hooking them together. But you rarely see them. So when you're buying envelopes for a flip book, if you buy any for a flip book, try to look for that. I don't know if the coordination's regular A2 are like that or not. I, I didn't think so but possibly. So anyway, sometimes it pays to shop in a store because you can actually eyeball stuff. So then the other stars of my show, you did get a notification. That's cool. Cause I was trying like crazy, like six times. This was the sixth time to get it going. Yeah, I'm making a flip book. A small one. Um, so the other stuff I'm going to use is the All My Love designer paper, which you're looking at a piece of there. And um, I pulled out these designer series papers. They're like the regular ones in the catalog that go with the color families. In the brights, I think, is the Flirty Flamingo I pulled out. And in the in color, I pulled out lovely lipstick. So that's like these kind of patterns. Or I don't know if I have a lovely. Oh, yeah. Here. And this is the flirty flamingo. I had pulled out balmy blue and um, stuff too, but I'm not going to I'm not going to use them. And then I pulled out some regular cardstock, but I decided I don't want to use the heavy weight cardstock on the envelopes themselves because I think it'll make it too thick. I might use them for pockets and stuff. Now see, there it goes doing that flippy thing, flipping out thing. It stopped, okay. If that does that, type in all caps to me, Dad, look at the camera. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It's. I thought I put it also on not autofocus, but I don't know. It seems to flip back on its own. So, okay. Um, let me pull all these papers out. I actually have them numbered so I know where I wanted them. And then I'll go through the actual structure of the flip book because I don't have it glued together or anything yet. I was just playing. So step one, just figure out how big you want your flip book to be. And then how many envelopes you want to use, in other words. And then step two is sort of play around with them and get your layout. So I wanted to do similar to the way I did the one in the vintage hop because that's what everybody was looking for. So I'm going to take this apart and show you what I did. Boop. 
boom. Okay, so I'm only using one, two, three, four envelopes. I think I might have used only four in the other one or maybe five. I don't know. So the first thing um, is what I did is I put these together like this. Now, if you notice, you have two pockets facing each other and I left it like that in the first flip book I am gonna I'm not gonna do that because it's really hard I'm, I might leave one together but the other side is gonna be solid because it's really too hard to um, I might leave this one and then cover this one up it's too hard to try and slip things in going like this like this so and then Normally what you do is you just glue down the next flap on the back of the other side. But what I did and what I'm going to do again is I took another envelope flap and tucked it in behind that one. So now you actually have like a regular book, right? So that was one thing I did different. And then at the end, I just oops, did this and glued that flap onto the back of this and then all of this closed in like this and this becomes your cover so that's what I'm going to do but if you notice it starts to bulge here so before I glue them I have to score them um, so we have um, a little over of an eighth of an inch width here maybe last time I didn't quite have enough let me see what would that be yeah, I think an eighth of an inch. I'm going to score an eighth of an inch in on this envelope um, flap and an eighth of an inch in on the one on, on actually this one, which will be the cover one. So both covers, I'm going to do an eighth of an inch. So let me bring my scoreboard up. This is the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I don't have the Stampin' Up! one yet. Sorry. If you guys have any questions stop me on the way because you know this is I haven't done that many flip books myself there's that going straight in here well it is but the envelopes crooked oh gosh I might have to get a different envelope I'm gonna score it and fold it hopefully these envelopes are also thinner than those crap I'm gonna get a different envelope I kind of messed that up you guys like flip books yes no <laughs> don't know how many of you may have you ever tried them okay so I'm scoring that one and then let me get the one that's gonna be the um, flap for the front and do the same thing making sure that's up against there and one eighth inch if you put more envelopes in you probably have to do a bigger score like maybe quarter inch or something like that <clears throat> so pretty easy huh you'll try after watching me it's really not that hard and, and really putting the envelopes together doesn't take much time. It's it's deciding how you're going to decorate them. So then this has to be glued in here. So I usually use wet glue for that. I just want to make sure the fit is right and that we're going to have. I scored that, but I didn't. Um, I didn't do the bone folder. What do you call that? This this thing. I scored it, but I didn't do the that. <laughs> Hi, Joy, Joy Defee, Joey Defee. We're making um, we're just starting making an envelope flip book with four envelopes. Um, in a similar fashion to what I had done on my video 930, which was a vintage flip book. Hi, Kathleen. Um, I'm feeling better. I still have some nasally stuff going on and my throat tickles every now and then. Um, well, Kim Lee, there's not really, 
I, I make mistakes in mine too. And I was just talking about the first time when I did this, I put the envelopes together like this and I put pockets one at a time then put pockets I left these pockets in and then I had a problem. I had to decorate in here and in here and it was hard to get stuff in and out because they were facing each other. Uh, and I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to leave one open and then I'm going to seal this, this one down. Um, and one thing I, I do a little different is, and what I did in that one is I tucked another envelope in right behind that first one. So it gives you more like book pages and then I also had this so and then I did like um, other pockets and stuff so we'll do that let me let me proceed so the first thing is we're gonna stick this one in there and glue it down and I'm gonna oh, oops, sorry that was my I accidentally touched my lamp <laughs> it's a touch button lamp which is good and bad I'm gonna glue the back of this and then um, and you know what? I'm going to use, um, I'm not going to use my favorite little glue here. I'm going to use this one because I need a little extra time to get it positioned right. And um, make sure it doesn't dry before I get it in the, in the slot on time. All right, so we're going to do that, hopefully. Now this is the one I oh, there we go. I got it. I blobbed, but I got it. So what are you guys working on craft wise? Anything? Okay. All right. So now we're going to carefully. So I think these envelopes are a little old. So I'm trying to use up stuff I have laying around and then just rub that down. And I'm going to leave this pocket there, so it's okay. Hi, glue gun and roses. You did that with the lamp? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were hiding from the neighbors? Okay. Kathleen's working on a pocket letter and cards. Actually, I have to get a pocket letter done. Oh, I'm gluing this to the thing. See? Sometimes I make mistakes too. Okay. And I want to, yeah, I'm trying to make sure that's in because I don't want it to be over that. Um, and actually, I got a little bit on my part there that I don't want. This is a, a glue eraser. I got off Amazon actually. And then what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and glue this one in right behind that one, but this way. I'm just going to. Oh, maybe I can't. <laughs> you know what I'll do? I'll glue this one in on top. Um, yeah, I kind of did that wrong. So that's now my third page. And let's see if we can do this without goofing that up. Glue eraser, yes. And it does work pretty good most of the time. It works better when it's dry glue, but um, I didn't have a choice this time. Okay, so we actually took two flaps into this first pocket, which makes the cover a little sturdier, too. But it doesn't really make this real sturdy. And then we have this one. And then we have this one where we have a solid and a pocket. See, again, I have a pocket facing in, which is kind of difficult sometimes. Um, and did I do that wrong? No, no. <laughs> maybe I did. Did I do something wrong? Okay, I'm gonna use another. I think I did something wrong. I'm goofing up too, guys. I had this all figured out before you all came on. <laughs> facing, facing, not facing, facing. One back, one open. One back. Okay, I guess I did this one like this. That's what I did. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> huh. Now on this one, this is where we scored 
one eighth inch out on the first envelope and you don't want to glue it down beyond that one eighth inch or you're not going to have your your um, little bit of space in there to do the opening and closing. So that is the difference. And I'm going to glue onto here just to make sure I don't glue beyond that score line. Hope that makes sense. And then this one is also scored, but that one is okay. So we're going to the score line. Just beyond the score line. There we go. And that's, we're going to leave that much space there because that is like your, your room you need on the binding here. I'm showing, I don't know, this, this setup is a little wacky for me. Barbara says she's doing crochet and some, with some, you're crocheting fingerless gloves. Wow. I can't crochet. I can't crochet or, well, I can't crochet. I, uh, there was a time I started knitting and I used to like that. When I was really little, I had a, I had a little toy spinning wheel. That would really be worth some money if I still had it, but I don't. I have no idea what happened to that. It probably got tossed in an attic clean out. So there's our little flip book before we decorate it. So we just have one envelope, two envelopes, three envelopes, four envelopes. And these are just old envelopes I had in my stash from nowhere particular. So once you do that, then you have to pick out your papers. And for those of you coming in late, I'm using the All My Love Designer Series paper from Stampin' Up, of course. Um, and I kind of measured the envelopes to be four and a four and a quarter wide by five and five eighths. The five and five eighths should not change on all the papers, but based on how you're um, putting the envelopes together, I may have to trim, you know, a little bit off on the edges on some of them. Um, so really, the next thing you have to do: pick out your papers. And then you have to figure out what's your closure going to be. Because if you want a magnet closure, um, you have to start thinking about your placement of a magnet now. And I did that on my first one, the vintage one. And I used these little magnets. They're called, they're by um, hmm, G, Basic Gray, Basic Gray. And I got them online. I just Googled them. I don't remember the store. Sparkling Char. I had asked her once where she got them. And she told me what they or what they were. So these are the small magnets. And then they have regular ones. And you get, you know, the pluses and minuses. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to use Velcro. I'm going to use these little Velcro um, circles to close it once I get it decorated. So I kind of went through before and I have these little numbers so I remember where I wanted them. We're going to do one. See, this one will probably have to be, uh, well, first of all, I have to decide, am I going to leave this open or am I going to close it up? This one I was going to close up. And this one I was thinking of leaving open, but actually now I'm looking at it, I might close both of them up. And then this one is already just the back of an envelope, so it's closed. This one I'll probably leave open. So I may have to cut a piece of paper then to go in here. And I'm going to have to trim this one down, which is kind of the hard part to fit in there. And then here's the back of one. And then same thing on this one. I will leave this open. Um, and I'm going to have to trim that down. Maybe just a little bit. And then um, this is the back. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Well, your grandma tried to teach you so many times. You wish you listened. Let's see, my grandma lived, well, my mom's side I never met. And my dad's side lived um, three and a half hours away. And we only saw her once every once or twice a year when I was little and then maybe once every two years once I got bigger and then it was like once every whenever we could get there. Hi Brina. We're making an envelope flip book using the All My Love um, 
designer series paper from Stampin' Up. <laughs> so, and I just went through, we made the um, flip part of it, but I just went through the papers I'm going to use. And we talked a little bit about closure. I did a magnetic one in the, um, oh, and I have to figure out this piece. So let me see. I have some scraps. Don't know if I want to use that. I'll probably, maybe I'll use that or I'm going to be putting, we made this on the, on one of my last lives. So maybe I'll put that and that. How's that look? If we have this on the flap and that, or is that too much red? Let me see. Or we could do this one over here on the flap. No, I think I like the hearts better. Or we could do just, no, that's not thick enough. All right, we're going to probably do this one on the flap. And let me just go ahead and trace that right now. I'm going to have to trace it because of the shape of the envelope flap. as best I can it's okay Paige I got it to, I was late too because um, it took me six tries to get this thing to go live hi hi Marieville 55 northern Alberta Canada I'll bet it's cold there I shouldn't complain You're trying to are you you're trying to crochet the choice of papers? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, good. The hearts look okay. Minus 30 Celsius. I don't know exactly what that is in Fahrenheit, but it sounds like maybe around zero ish or a little less. Adopted great grandbabies. Aw. That's so good. You have a good heart. Adopting great grandbabies. Hmm. Or I guess your grandchildren have a good heart. All right, let me put that out and see if that works. I have no idea how long this is going to be, guys, because, you know, I'm kind of winging it. Again. <laughs> And I have to see how my throat holds out. So it feels better. But when I talk a lot, I get, you know, it has a tickle <clears throat> still. So if I go like, <clears throat> like that, that's why. And I do still have a little bit of the sniffles too. Oh, you know what? I might like, I should have, maybe I'll put, hmm. I'll have to do it. Maybe I like that better. Sort of like the reverse. Or that. I think I like the reverse better. What do you guys think? Okay, Jerry. I'm kind of liking that instead of the, the bright hearts. Maybe I'll put the hearts on the inside because... Oh, no, maybe not. I have them back there so I think that'll work better on the inside it'll be the hearts on the outside so I need another piece actually um, and I might as well just use this and do the the hearts again let's see if I do it this way they're going to be upside down I'm going to do it the same I'm just going to trace this one <laughs> for the inside which won't be exactly right, but it'll probably be close enough. Oh, uh, that's what my kids, my kids call my uh, mother Nana. But my, um, I always call my grandmother Grandma. She lived to be about ninety-four. And my grandfather on my dad's side lived to 96. Unfortunately, my father only lived to 79. But, oh, well. That was a while ago, so. <clears throat> I 
And I'm looking forward to just 70. <laughs> or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. My mom's 90 now, so we shall see. Okay, so we have two flaps. Let's see if this will fit on the inside. I may have to trim it a little bit, but we'll do that after we get it on. Get in there. And then this. And other than this one embellishment, I really don't have a clue on how I'm going to decorate this. It would be minus 22 in Fahrenheit. Ooh, I'm sorry, that's too cold for me. You like the reverse on the outside page? Like that? Yeah, I kind of like that better too. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reverse it there and have the. <sighs> Maybe I'll just reverse it on both, on both sides of the flap because then on the inside I have the hearts back there. So I think I'll do the reverse on both. Okay. So now we have to get this put together here. I mean, you know, put the, put the stuff on. And this is hard for me because, you know, I have trouble putting anything on straight. <laughs> yeah. You folks are in their 70s. You're the oldest of six kids. And you're a young 53. And the youngest is 33. Wow, 20 years difference. Well, that's I shouldn't really say anything about that because what's that heart you made it? Yes, um, Alicia, I did this on... My last live, I think. Um, and there's actually a link under that live to, I think it was She She Crafts that I learned how to make it. She has a, a on her video, there's a template. Um, you start off with a piece of paper that looks like a whale. And I think I still have the other piece of the whale here. Hang on. This desk. I clean it off and it gets, it sort of looks like this. It's a 12 inch piece of paper scored in half um, so you have that and then you score every quarter inch and then you fold it um, and then what you do is you I'm trying to remember that's the point at the bottom so you would end up hooking them together once it's scored and it becomes this heart so it's really really cute and not that hard you just have to be able to fold all those little folds um, back and forth accordion fold all right, I'm going to use um, actually art glitter glue for this, even though I have trouble. I have trouble um, lining things up, so we'll see how we do. And just go through and do them one by one. I did pull out some ribbons and stuff. I'm going to try and not do a ribbon closure. I'm trying to do a Velcro closure this time instead of a magnet because the magnet didn't really hold on the last one for some reason. I must have just jammed it too full. And if anybody's on here that won my any of my vintage stuff, they were all shipped out. And I know people are starting to get them because, see, why does that look crooked? because I have a score line over here. I'm going to put it closer to the edge over here where I can't cut paper straight anymore. Hmm. Yeah, that's not working. Ah, the cover is the most important. <laughs> Do any of you watch Netflix? I got hooked for there for a while on When Comes the Heart, I think it's called. They just added season five and I already watched it all. <laughs> like they added it about a week ago. And then now my latest thing I'm hooked on is um, The Midwives. It's set in England uh, back in the I, like, like Depression era and um, up through the early 60s right now. 
I don't know if, if it goes much longer than that. Okay, that's pretty good. So we decided we were going to leave one of these open. Um, I think I'm going to, I think I am going to leave that open. But I'm going to have to figure out a way to cut that paper. So I might tear apart an envelope. And actually, I'm going to tear apart this one because I folded it and didn't use it folded. Just to get the right shape. I stopped watching a lot. I don't watch much TV. So, but my son got on Netflix. There we go. We'll just trace that. And um, he added me to his account. So I have like an antenna thing on my house. So I get basic channels on my TV, which I only watch if there's something I know is important on there. Or hi, Brandy. We're doing an envelope flip, probably the Deb hard way. <laughs> and actually, I saw Brandy had a tutorial on her channel for envelope flip book a couple weeks ago or something, too. Um, but everybody does it just a tad different. Why can't I see that line? There we go again. Because my eyes are old. Right, and actually, I probably cut that one too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, have fun. That's the most important thing. Yes, I did. I just told Alicia, Alicia, sorry, um, my last live we. I think it was my last one or maybe two ago we did this and it was based on a video that she, she crafts had done. And, um, there's a link to her channel below, whichever live that was that I made that on. And that is out of the, all my love designer series paper as well that we're using today. Okay. Can I see that? Yep. Yeah. There we go. It starts off looking like a whale. You just have to draw a whale on a 12 by 12 fold it in half. Then you score it at a quarter inch on all the way, all the way down both the whole thing like that. And then this becomes the point and you, once you get it scored, you put it together and it becomes a heart. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Have to take care of sniffles. Ra oh, the ranch with Sam Elliott. And see, I didn't ever see that one. Sam Elliott. Yeah, I'd like that too, probably. <laughs> You're welcome, Brandy. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let me get ahead. Have sniffles and occasional coughs. Let me wipe my hands off. All right, here's my piece. Okay, so here's my piece that's supposed to go in here. Or I could flip that over maybe. So I cut that off of here. There we go, not too bad. So I'm gonna glue this in. I'm gonna cut that little, that little edgy thing off. Hi, Penny. Thank you for coming. We're making an envelope flip book or attempting to. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm a slow crafter guy, so I don't, I, like I said, I don't know how long this is going to be. And I probably made that just a tad short. I could have just stuck a regular old size piece of paper in there, but. Oh no, that would be too easy for Deb. 
you too, slow crafter. Hi, Clay. So then this one has to go here. Except that it's crooked, of course. And I have I have to erase pencil marks because I can't cut straight either. Even with lines. <laughs> Now that's not true all the time, but a lot of the time. Is your hubby left-handed too, Alicia? <laughs> Funny. Brandy, Brandy, who is left-handed crafter, has a sense of humor. I like her sense of humor. Hi, Julia. Thanks for joining us. Lefties unite. Now I see I'm feeling out. I'm feeling left out again. Some people are sis sisters, and some people are lefties, and I'm just a an old right-handed gal. <laughs> kind of got this off a little bit, but I'm gonna make it go. I'm gonna make it work. And put ribbon or something over over this, which I think I had to do the last time. All right, I need to take a little bit off this side here to make it sort of match the way the other one is uneven. Anybody else have problems like that? <laughs> Good thing I wasn't an engineer, huh? Okay, that's what we'll do. And we'll put ribbon over here or washi or something. But I have to make sure that's still going to open fine. Yep, it will. Prominent right hand, but you use both. That's my mom. She was left. She's she is left-handed, but um, when she was growing up, they didn't allow you to be left-handed in school wasn't permitted so they taught everything right hand and used to smack her with a ruler whenever she used her left hand so now she uses both but she does write um she does certain things with her left still only prominently all right i have to stand up so what else is everybody else crafting besides crochet any paper craft going on any new and exciting Discoveries. That is crooked too. There we go. All right, I want to make sure that doesn't stick down. Oh. Yeah, my mom wasn't even Catholic though. It was just a public school back in the Depression time frame. So, yep. All right. I think I'm going to have to adjust that just a tad here. Because I don't want it rubbing up against that seam. Maybe just a tad here. Okay. Okay. The key is to have movement. And this one I'm going to make solid and put a pocket on it or something. In the original one, like I said before, I, I had both of these open. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to glue this down. And then I'm going to glue that on to it. And we'll put our own pocket on kind of thing. <laughs> um, and now it doesn't really matter. I can glue right along there because we're going to put paper right on top of it. And I'll look up and look at comments in a minute. <laughs> You don't really need a lot of this glue. Sometimes I use, um, if I'm doing a lot of gluing, I'll use Aileen's Turby, tu Turby, Turbo Tacky Glue because it's cheaper, A, eh? and if you need to use a lot of it. And it gives you a little more time to position stuff. And I find it goes on really pretty smoothly, too. Um, so yeah, that's another alternative glue 
for doing large, larger projects and stuff. Not paper craft, but you're working on a banner for your brother and his wife. Pink because she, oh, well, thank goodness for that. Yes. Yes, I have a whole, <laughs> I have a whole bin of envelopes as well from different places before I started be doing Stampin' Up! And I'm trying to use up. So this was just like some 10 envelopes I had laying around that I have no idea where they came from what brand they are or anything but um so i thought i'd use them and that got okay all right so there's we're up to page one two three woohoo but i'm and then i'm not done decorating obviously and you see i numbered them all because um uh, just because i think these two i won't have any pocket open Um, and like uh, in the beginning, I said I was originally thinking of using just cardstock and then decorating with the paper, but the cardstock is really heavy, and I thought the envelopes wouldn't—it wouldn't be able to open for the size of the envelope. It would have made it too thick, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, there's that one. All right, let me see what I missed here. You got a new paper craft book that came with stamps. Ah, cool. That's really nice. Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Yes, yes. Um, Kim. You have Aileen's Turbo Tech. Yeah, I like the Turbo. The other one's good, too, but the Turbo is faster drying. But it does give you a little more time to move stuff around than the one that's in this bottle not crafting right now you're just getting dinner warm and ready for your hubby it's starting to look awesome so this one we're gonna glue down again too it's so much easier and then what i do is i make pockets that are easier to get into than this um sorry that was the glue bottle not me <laughs> um easier to get into than these sideways pockets so. this is the flirty flamingo regular designer series paper from the annual catalog and it goes really good with the this piece from the all my love paper this this paper is really pretty the all my love so i'm trying to do projects with it because valentine's day i'll be here before we know it and over with, so and I really don't want to have it left after um, Valentine's Day. I'm just trying to make sure I get this a little straight. Pretty good. Now I'm trying to make sure when I'm doing this that I'm not going where those score lines are inside. That's good, Barbara. Yeah, try it. Hi, Brenda, you're from Pembroke, Georgia. Okay, where is Pembroke in Georgia? Is it near Atlanta? Uh-oh. I get so many junk calls. Ugh. This one's going to go here. I love this paper. Well, I love all of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my problem it's really not that hard all these papers are cut to except for the flaps are cut four and a quarter wide by five and five eighths inch but what you have to do is just take your envelopes and measure because uh, all the envelopes are different and I don't know what I just do with my oh here it is <laughs> with my ruler these are a little over four and a quarter so i just made them four and a quarter and then five and three quarter but i made them five and five eighths which is the line the eighth line after it's like the second line if you have sixteenths or the first line if you only have eights after the half mark um so that's how i cut them and i mentioned i may have to cut some of them down but so far it's working out 
pretty good um, so far. So we shall see. And this one is, this is the, the part I used on the front is what's on here. And I was thinking of doing that, but I thought it would be too busy. So I kind of like the contrast of that on that, on the cover. So, and then once I got the structure of the envelopes figured out and cut the paper, then you just have to play around and, well, I played around and looked at all the papers and kind of figured out which ones I wanted to use. And then I cut them down to size. Some of them I had some scrap pieces that worked out just about right. And then the part that takes the actual longest is decorating. Um, Penny, on one of my, either my last live or the one before at Hi Giselle, um, I made this heart. Hmm. I made it, I made some cards, I think, too, but then I, or something, and then I made this heart towards the end of it, and I put a link to a video by She She Crafts. She's the one I got the tutorial and the template from to make this heart, and it starts off with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, you fold it in half, and then you, the template is like a whale shape, and she said you can do it however you want. If you can freeform draw a whale, that's what you do. And then you score it every quarter inch. Um, and then I think it's this way. You know, it'll come together once you score it like this. And this will be your point kind of thing. It works. Um, I just don't have it scored for this one. But it did work. I did it on my live. And then you just put, um, you know, little circles or whatever you want on the front. Yeah, everybody, I like that too a lot. So that's going to be on the cover. Because I had it sitting here from that live and I hadn't used it yet. So that's what we're going to do. Now this one, um, I want to I have to do another opening. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. All right, so let's do our thing again. Put this in and go a little bigger than this is our scrap envelope and we're just going to trace again and hope it comes out so And you wouldn't have to do that. You could just leave it like this and have a pocket. But I don't know. I like doing it this way. But I think I'm going to put a, a piece of paper down in there, maybe all the way in instead of just a triangle. Because that is going to be, the other side of that is going to be the back cover. see how I did this time. <laughs> um, I did okay, but what I didn't consider is this big stripe over here, but I can put some ribbon here, so that's okay. Now, let me see. This is the back cover. Let's see what piece of paper and we were going to do this on the outside and this Maybe on both, right? So it has to be something that goes with those. So how about this? I think I'll just stick this piece of paper in there. Okay, Alicia, I didn't know you were. Yeah, the pattern paper is called All My Love. It's, um, it is um, in the occasions catalog for Stampin' Up. Clay says he's very tempted to buy envelope templates. Uh, I don't know if I would. I, I would be more inclined to buy the envelope punch board or the one, two, three punch board, which is what I have. 
on Stampin' Up! sells the envelope punch board. So you can make all sizes of punch board. Okay, this has to be cut down a little bit. So do you think I should do stripes or, or dots? Dots, I think. What do you think? Making your own. Yeah, just, yeah, that's what I said too, Brandy. And I think the, the punch boards are so much easier. I really do. I like my one, two, three one, right, which I got before I was stamping up. Like I said, stamping up sells the, the regular envelope punch board. That's still a little too big. Dots. Yes, I like the dots better too. So we're going to go for an eighth of an inch now. Just trimming it down. A little bit to get it to stick in there better before I glue this other thing down. And making sure that'll work if I get it in there straight. <laughs> they give you more freedom. Yeah, and you can make more with them than envelopes. Um, like the one, two, three, and, and really the envelope punch board too. You can make bows, you can make little boxes. Um, so I just personally think they're better than the templates. Templates are kind of going, going out, outdated, is what I'm trying to say. I do have some templates. You know what? They're sitting here not getting used. Not for envelopes, for snowflakes and bells and stuff. All right. Blue eraser. Blue eraser. Oh, look, there were some other dots. That's all right. I like these better. All right, and now we're going to put this down. And I'm going to have to be careful with this one. I'm going to glue the paper instead of the... I wasted a lot of money. I went so gung-ho when I first started paper crafting. Um, you know, I was like... Oh, I have to have this. Oh, I have to do that. And so, and then I watched all those haul videos. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys, if you do a lot of haul videos. I don't watch too many anymore. Once in a while, if I'm binge watching, I will. But I get just too tempted to go buy, and I don't. I have so much stuff now, I don't know that I'll ever end up being able to use so there we have that one. And now we have to put a little flappy thing on. This is the back. So let's see which one fits better on the outside. Because I think, mm, I actually think maybe this one. And we can cut it down. And then this one we'll do in here. Okay. <laughs> the only boards I have are the one, two, three punch board, which I think, I can't remember if I got that at Tuesday morning, or if I got it with a coupon somewhere in one of the other big box stores, because I've had it for a while. Um, and then I did get the mini bag, um, treat bag punch from Stampin' Up! as well. And I will have to trim that. I'm trying to make sure I do not get that over that um, second score line we did there so i have that one down now let's glue that i mean let's glue that <laughs> excuse me drink time <laughs> hi jackie Oh, I'm, I lie. I have the mini envelope punch board, too, which actually, it's cute, but, excuse me just a minute. <coughs> Sorry, but the, um, 
the regular punch board, envelope punch board, and the um, one, two, three punch board, they do small envelopes too, like down to three by two or something. But I think the mini one, um, I think the mini one does, let's see what it does. This is the mini one. See how cute? It goes down to one uh, card size of one by one inch. <laughs> and it only goes up to four by four. There are. There's a lot on the marketplace. <clears throat> so... Okay, so here's what we have so far. Cover, page one with a pocket. I didn't do the other pocket on this one, or this, or this, or this, and then just another pocket. I'm going to make other pockets. And then we have to do the back yet, and that flap. So let's do the flap first. And again, I have to watch. I don't do that score line. I'm going to glue on here. And we're going to close this with Velcro once I get that far. Thank you all for coming, by the way. I really had a hard time getting this um, going today. That looks crooked to me. Okay. So we're going to have some lace and stuff on here, but this is what it's going to look like so far. <clears throat> Hi, Sue, Ms. Martini girl. You like the idea of, you know, I have to say my favorite dies and stuff, just FYI, to me are investment dies. They're like the stitched rectangles and the, um, the stitched shape framelits, which has squares, ovals, and rounds. I love them. They're in our annual catalog. Um, so anything regular shapes I love and also um, word dies I love word dies different ones basic shape because you can combine these any way you want so if you only have a limited budget and you want some investment dies you go with the basic shapes that you can create your own designs on anything um, so I love those and the words, the word dies. Um, I have a thing for word dies. <laughs> um, and then I do like embossing folders too. And they're reasonably inexpensive because then you can change the texture of your paper easily. So hi, Bar uh, Barbara. Yeah, you, <clears throat> you were here. <laughs> it's going to be pretty. Thank you. Well, let's get the back on. Now, let me remember. I think I had dots on that one, too. Yeah. So, the back will go like that. This is the front, back, and that. Yeah, that'll look all right. Okay. We'll get the back on, and then we'll start putting pockets and stuff in. <laughs> and I'm going to save the cover for last because um, I already know I want that hard on. And I, I'll show you some trims I got out. Um, to use for the cover because I like a wide trim on the cover. Mm -hmm. I have to get this straight, straightish. And where I mean a wide trim, I mean over here. It hides any unevenness there. All right, let me close my glue bottle here. And wipe my fingers off again. Um, so, I went through first my Stampin' Up! trims, but I didn't find any wide ones I like for the binding. I have so much stuff on my desk. But I did find I had this one, 
but I don't know. It might be, well, no, I might like that. I have to see where the placement of the heart. And then I have this one, which isn't open yet, which sort of has a, um, can you see it? Like a cross weave. And those are simplicity and offre. But I also pulled out Stampin' Up! The Lovely Lipstick and Flirty Flamingo. This is a really pretty ribbon, too. Um, and the Flirty Flamingo is just a thin ribbon. And, the, of course, the Whisper White polka dot tool that has sparkles in it. I love that ribbon. And this thin, lovely lipstick, because that's the color in this paper. And then also, and I don't know if I'm going to use all these. I just, it's just what I pulled out. These two are, I love these classic weave ribbons too. They're um, talking about basics again. These are nice and smooth. They make a nice bow. They make a nice, you know, just go across your card or whatever. So, am I going to fold what over? Alicia, I have no doubt you will make one because you make beautiful books. <clears throat> I know because you sent me one. <laughs> Where did you find the word dies? Well, these word dies are stamping up. And they have, um, let me see, one, two, let's see how many pieces. It usually tells you how many pieces. 24 pieces, but they're not all 24 words. Um, it has also three little flowers, a bird, an ampersand, an exclamation point, a butterfly, and a tiny little heart in addition to words. So these are in the occasions catalog <clears throat> right now, along with the stamp with words, but I didn't get the stamp. Are you going to fold it over or will you use half of it be free? Usually what I do is I fold it over. So that's why I usually like this kind because um, it, I usually put the, elast the center part there on the edge. It depends on your book, but like this one, the only thing, this is too like frilly frilly. Um, so I don't know if it'll work. The one I, let me show you the one I usually like, but it's the wrong color. This is what I used in the vintage one. And I love that for doing um, edges because it has just the right amount of space there. And then I glue it down on the front and back. And there you go. And it works. This this one, Brandy, this um, this is from Mike Michaels. Celebrate it. And it's one and a quarter inch wide. This one it's it's stretchy so i don't know let me get this other one out and just see let me open it and see if it'll work i only went into my drawers of ribbon but i didn't go into my overflow the frilly frilly one it might work but i don't i don't know maybe i mean i thought that would be cute because it's valentine's day let's see which side is the right side Maybe I could put that side out because it, it looks stitched there. I think that's supposed to be the back. Eh, I don't know. So if we just go like that and then tack it down. I may do that because I kind of like the little flower designs on there and stuff. But it's going to be hard because it's stretchy. So let's see about this one. This is more plain Jane. <laughs> But it has that open pattern there. Yeah, I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm just on a... I am not buying any more ribbon. I have two. Um, they're bigger than a shoe box. I think they're called sweater boxes. Full of um, ribbons and laces and doilies and like cloth doilies and stuff like that so i'm on a, i can't buy any more embellishment type stuff unless it's for the business yeah i have a lot of embossing folders um from before stampin up and i have about eight or something like that now from stampin up already too 
And I have one from Stampin' Up! that's retired from last... Hmm. Now, I don't know if it was 2017. I think it was 2017. <laughs> okay, Brandy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Tim Holtz are Sizzix brands, and so are um, Stampin' Ups. So they're made by the same company. It's just not the same designer, <clears throat> if you will. I like Sizzix brand dyes, too. But yeah, well, I have a lot of the colored bling jewels, too. <laughs> uh, well, I have a lot because, um, you know, A, watching haul videos and, ooh, isn't that pretty? And let's go see if some store has that. But also, I'm a yard sailor and I would bring home boxes of this stuff and, um, you know, for five bucks for a a big box so i have all that kind of stuff anyway all right let me get busy here so i have to decide i have to blow my nose again sorry guys <laughs> okay so um, I think when I did this one in the old book, I had, I don't like this big white space here. So I'm probably going to put a piece of just like ribbon there. And then maybe I have these stamp sets and stuff I want to use. I actually have, uh, now here's another one I'm addicted to as far as, um, uh, not that one, this one, doilies. <laughs> I love doilies. And so I might just use... Like, I might use that one over there. Um, so we have this Dear Doily stamp, too. I don't know if I'll use the stamp or just the Doily Builder. Or maybe just the Pearlized Doilies. Um, and, the, and the hearts. I like the heart. Oh, I love this heart. I'm, let me punch that heart and then cut that out. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Yes, your obsession with Fire Mountain um, came while mine was, I had a couple really big hauls from Fire Mountain. That's for jewelry making. Maggie White, I've heard the name. Wow. You mean as a D-stash, Julia? <laughs> yeah, if you saw, excuse me. If you saw my little blurb where I was showing myself in my video yesterday before I went into the rest of the video, you saw all those shoe boxes behind me. They're all beads, but that's not even all of them. All right, time for another drink. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this live. <coughs> you know who else I bought um, a while back? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I had bought these stashes of lace and ribbon from um, Donna Dreams Times Three. I can't remember her last name. <coughs> yeah, but those beads, I have two categories of beads. I have business beads, which is like way too much too. And then I have all those bead boxes. They were going into my personal stash. So, and those I'm kind of hoarding because I need to be using the other ones, except when I make purse charms, like for giveaways on YouTube and stuff. Um, now who, Julia, um, Donna Dream Time 3. Yeah, she had actually done a, um, it was a ribbon and lace d stash, but it was like, she set it up in a book. She made out a paper and she had little um, pouches in it with bling, excuse me, buttons, laces and trims, and then a big pouch of laces and trims. Yes, this is the uh, Pearl Eye White, which is the last one in this pack, but I think I have another pack. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> anyway, getting back to this. 
part I want to use, I think, is <coughs> mm, sorry, this one. And I don't know if I want to put it there or over here. Oh, this cold will just not let up on me. I think I'm just I think I'm gonna put it over here. But maybe in flirty flamingo. <laughs> okay, Kimley, thank you. Sorry, you are sick. And I hope I feel better soon. I feel all right. I just have this cough and sniffles. Excuse me, I'm gonna turn around and <coughs> hopefully get this out of me. There we go. And wipe my hands off. <clears throat> and take another drink. <laughs> Well, that's why I was thinking flirty flamingo, which would be more along the lines of this color, but in a plain. Let me get a piece. <clears throat> or, yeah, here. This. Or, sea foam. Or, I could just do white hearts. Or, I could do a pocket. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm going to put in the pockets yet. That always comes last. Uh, in the challenge that we were doing for the, not the uh, challenge, the hop, the vintage hop. Let me finish this first. Um, it, we were, had to have tags in every pocket. So that was an easy one to do because I'm using Stampin' Up's mini glue dots here. To tack the ribbon down. And I love these things, except this particular roll, the cardboard thing came out of the middle and I could not get it back in. So it's kind of all squishy. Yeah, I don't know. I can't drink garlic water, but um, chicken broth. I do hot tea with lemon and honey sometimes, although I have to watch the amount of honey because I'm pre-diabetic and we're trying really hard not to be diabetic <clears throat> um, sorry I'm kind of off camera there <clears throat> actually I could do that heart I could do a half hmm, let me think about that <clears throat> I actually could do a pocket with this edging on or something, this edging here, or just these. Maybe I'll do a pocket across here with the edging on it, um, cut out, and then have a tuck spot there. vampire <laughs> yeah hopefully no vampires that's <laughs> uh, but the lemon lemon and honey yeah want to make sure that doesn't stick out the front maybe <clears throat> maybe I'll do that maybe that doily will go there I don't want to put that on yet because then it'll make it hard to put the other stuff in the book. Okay, I have to figure out what I'm doing here. I don't, <coughs> excuse me, I don't like the flirty flamingo there. So let's see if we had a piece of white. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to cut that to size. Oh, it's, pretty, it's a little bit big. And then... I don't know if I want to have this across. Maybe. All right. I might try that. Hang on. Let me cut it to size first, which is four and a quarter. Chicken broth. I, that's when I first started getting this. That's what I was living off for a couple days. You guys follow me on Facebook. Did you see my, uh, my little funny post? <sighs> I cut it too far. Okay. How did I do that? Four and a quarter. Uh, 
Got to write that time. <laughs> by two. I'm just going to go two inches. I was just cutting it to four and a quarter by two to make a little pocket and I'm going to attempt to put this on here twice I think. Either that one or this one. Bye Brenda. Thank you for coming. Love to you too. What looks awesome, Alicia? The doily with the heart or what I'm doing now? <laughs> Sorry, I get behind. I'm going to go for this one. I'll be right back. I just have to turn to my side here and get my cutting machine. And I don't think this, you know what? Mm, yeah, we'll try it. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll try it this way. I'm going to try it upside down. Hang on. Let's see if I like that. And I have a big kick rather than a big shot that Stampin' Up! sells the big shot. does the same thing. So, all right, let me do it again. So use what you have. I'm just trying to get this placed right. <clears throat> I may have to do a live part two another day. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to snip that off a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and now I have to punch this out. So I have a brushy tool, but I'm just going to use this pokey tool. Okay, let's see. Doily with the heart. Okay, thank you, Alicia. You have big kick too. Okay. Mine is that vintage one I got for jewelry making, and I still have the jewelry making um, things too, which I I hope to use. Oh, now see, I did. I probably didn't do this right. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Never mind. That didn't work. Let me try this again. It didn't work because um, first of all, I don't know what I do with my dye. Sorry, guys. I'm really <clears throat> a little bit disorganized here tonight. Hmm. Um, I did it upside down, and I thought maybe it would punch the design and without cutting the top part off, but I, I went too far up, and it cut it off. So I can use these as decorations on some other part of the book or some other project once I punch out all the little pieces. But for now, I, that's not what I wanted. So let me, I'm going to try this instead. Um, see, I'm kind of new at using these border things. You deleted it? What? How can you not show what's inside your D-stash boxes? People want to know what they're going to get unless you call it a um, surprise box or something. <clears throat> Metal shears. That'll be another video someday. Yes, I do. Um, there's a... <clears throat> hang on. I don't know if I can find them right now. 
Ooh, these aren't the ones. Maybe these are them. No. There's some clay that look like this, but I think they're smaller. These are called Classico, but the ones I'm thinking of are, um, these are okay for wire and, and stuff, or plastic. Um, and they have a spring grip. So these are really nice. <clears throat> and they have for large hand or small hand for the opening, the width opening. And I think I got these at a bead show somewhere. They're stainless. So anyway, we're getting off subject here. But there's another set and the kitchen shears, but they cut metal. And I really like them too. Uh, the border die. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go through jewelry tools some other time <clears throat> when I organize them better. I don't know that I'm going to do that border. I think I'll just put lace or something across here. Um, hmm. or another thing I could do is just punch a couple of these out and have it show through. Nah, I don't like that either. Okay, never mind. We're just going to put this down and I'm going to use wet glue. You can use, um, tear and tape or whatever, but I'm just going to make a little pocket here on the bottom or we'll never get done. <laughs> So you you got the basic gist of the of the book though. I have been known to glue things on upside down, whereas the top would then be closed, and we don't want that. <laughs> Hi Linda, how are you? Yeah, I get what you mean, Jackie. You just type it in that way, Alicia. You just, uh, it's the capital two <laughs> on a keyboard or your symbols on your, on your phone. I have to go into my number pad and then I actually have to go, there's another little symbol thing there and I have to hit that. So ampersand and then just type, start typing their YouTube name and it, it highlights it automatically. Um, it's not a paper pad, Jackie. It is Stampin' Up, and it's called All My Love. It's in the Occasions catalog. It's probably easier to show you in the catalog. And it's like sort of in the front. It's this one here, and it's really beautiful. I'll show you a couple well, I'll show you. I'll flip through the flip book because some of you came in late. Because <clears throat> I have just about every every side on here. So that's one. This is one. Now this is actually, um, it's also Stampin' Up! But it's the In Color Designer Series paper, it's called. And it's this is the color Lovely Lipstick out of that 6x6 six six pack. This is going back to the All My Love. This is designer series paper in the subtles called Fl Flirty Flamingo. You get it in a pack of all the subtle colors. So this is the Flirty Flamingo. These two are out of the All My Love. This is another one of the lovely lipstick um, pieces like this. And then this is, this is uh, part of the All My Love. So there's, um, oh, hang on. There's like, I think, six different designs. Just yank them out. I've used it in a couple other videos before, but it's really pretty. Valentine's Day paper. So, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five. I think there's another one, but I'm, I know there's another one. It's, um, oh, here it is. And then this one with the hearts, but then when you flip them over, let me click this down. In. Oops. They're these. So you get to choose what what designs you want to use. And I have not used all of the designs, but I used I think all the papers. Oh, 
What sounds difficult? Oh, I didn't know that, Brandy. I haven't experienced that. Everything, every time I've bought a D stash from anybody on YouTube, I've been okay so far. <clears throat> I actually do have a D stash box of ribbon still available, but it's no longer the same as what I posted. So I have to say that one is no longer available if I didn't already and um, go back and modify. So I think I need some kind of ribbon or something on here. I don't know. Or pattern paper. <clears throat> Not that. I have some scrap papers over over here. How's that? That's pretty. <laughs> Hello, my name is Deb, and I'm a jewelry supply, including beads and many other things, paper crafting and ribbon aholic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm trying to get better. I really am. Um, so, okay, now wait. That one, no, that's too much red. I think I like that. Break it up. Plus, it'll tell me where the pocket starts, right? kind of hard to do this oh oh wow the paper looked wet <laughs> yeah I, I guess I've gotten some papers in these stashes that I wasn't crazy about but I also have gotten papers in paper pads from big stores that you know you get in those paper pads, you might have like four or five pieces that you really, really love, and the rest of it's sort of, eh. So I really cut out buying a lot of that kind of stuff now. Okay, Alicia, I don't know what that was about, but... <laughs> Yeah, like that store. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, we have to figure out something. Oh, maybe I'll do a tag here. Let's do a tag. Let's do a tag. We already used that. So I don't want to do too much. Um, I don't know. I might do, I might have to do the tags and decorating another day because, hey, my desk is a mess. The, oh, these are pretty. These are just some pieces left. <laughs> From other cuttings. <clears throat> I'm not feeling any of those, but I have plain cardstock. I could use. I think I'll cut a piece of lovely lipstick for a tag and then I can decorate the tag. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. You could but some trim, buy some trim. <clears throat> I de-stashed a lot of my big paper pads and a lot of my six by six, but I still have a lot too. And they're sitting here because now I really am not supposed to use them. <laughs> <coughs> the problem I have with that clay is I could make a big giant hi cat. Glad you're joining us. Um, a great big, okay, so let's see. This is four and a quarter. I'm going to cut this off around three and seven, three and three quarter, sorry. And then I'll leave room for ribbon. And to do that, I'm going to get out a punch. Oh, goodness. 
And this is the detailed trio punch from Stampin' Up. And it has this little oval, which is made for doing tags. I'm just trying to make sure I have it sort of in the middle. And there we go. And then, as I open my drawer, um, I thought I had an itty-bitty little heart punch. And I'm looking for that. But I can't find it right off the top of my head. Right off the head. I have a bigger one here. But that's bigger than I wanted. Um, but maybe I'll do that anyway. Maybe I'll do a heart there. No, it's too big. It's too big. Yeah. <clears throat> but what I'll do, just punch a little heart. And I don't know what brand punch this is. Sorry. And maybe put a couple hearts down here. And then maybe a word there. Feeling like I need a word there. Love or something like that. Where's my well-written words? <clears throat> Let's see what they say. Happy, welcome, <laughs> friend. Oh, you know what? Hang on. See, I forget about this because I have a whole nother tub of um, Valentine stuff. I don't know, Jackie. That doesn't usually happen to me. Yeah, that's true too, Brandy. The 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 ones I have trouble with are the big scrapbook page ones because I don't scrapbook. But I even cut some of them up and use the pictures on them and stuff. Or use them as like this size. You could get a solid piece out of that maybe or something. Um, all right, I have to get something. Hang on. <clears throat> See this tub, this size tub, this is the, I don't know if you can see it, this is my Valentine's Day tub, it's a sweater box size, so I figure why not pull it out and use some of this stuff if I have any <coughs> love kind of words or something in here, who knows. I don't even know who I'll give this to. If I did, I could use those, but no. <laughs> um, or something. Ooh. But see, the problem now is that lovely lipstick isn't like these deep reds, so it's a different color. Ooh, but I have these pretty silver, silver ones too. Hmm. Anyway. <clears throat> and I have these little buttons. <sighs> decisions, decisions. This is the part that takes me forever, guys. Does it you? Does it take you forever to do your decorating and stuff? My son is at work. No, he's not a crafter. And my daughter. Um... Well, she doesn't have time right now, but her her, her kids are crafters. I try to throw mine away. I just can't. Why? <laughs> because we know we'll need it one day, Paige. <laughs> my son is 31 now, so and he's my baby. My baby baby. Yeah, I like silver one the silver ones too. So anyway, that's right. See, we'll need it someday. Maybe I'll just do a trio of hearts here. Let me cut one out in a different color paper. 
Where'd that flirty flamingo go? <clears throat> I did this on a card in um, Paige and Peggy's cards where I did three hearts only with the bigger ones. So I think we'll do something like that. But should I do it up or should I do it? I think I should do it down like that. What do you think? How's that? Can you even see that? I have such a mess here. And then let me find some ribbon for this. I think I just need a thin white. Let me get a little snip. Okay, what did Kat say? Uh, I usually know how I want to decorate it before I have the papers all picked out. Wow. Not me. I'm just the opposite. I, I usually know what papers I want to use, but um, I don't. And sometimes I have the cover figured out. Like this one, I'm, uh, my starting point is this heart we made on a different live. <laughs> you have unfinished projects because of it, Brandy? Wow. Um, and Clay said, I never have an exact idea plan, but I usually know. When I start off making my cards and stuff, I kind of know what stamp sets. Like, I have planned out from my Stampin' Up! videos. Um, yeah, I do need to add bling. Bling goes last. <laughs> and I'm only on page two, guys. We're not going to make it till the end, whenever that is. Because we're already at, what, an hour and a half or something. This definitely needs bling. I'm going to put these little hearts down here and then I'll put, <clears throat> excuse me, bling in the middle. We'll bling them in the middle. Actually, what I'm going to do is glue them onto the pink heart first. And then glue them down. Does everything look ups, upside down to you? Or are you, is the view okay? The way I have this set up. Yeah, that's what I do, Alicia, too. It's like a creative process. When you have a bundle of ugly paper. I'm reading backwards, guys. Oh, local kindergarten. Huh. That's an idea. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes the chat moves really fast <laughs> and I have trouble keeping up. I think I'm gonna do it like that, maybe. I don't know. I, I know I need something there too, but I'll figure that out later. And I know I have to do something on here. Um, we need some more like pink or something on here. I'm afraid I'm getting too many patterns on here though. Maybe, maybe we'll use some more of this. Let me cut a bit of this down. Thank you, Linda. It's getting there slowly. <laughs> All right, so let me see how long this is, first of all. One, two, three, almost four. Three and three quarters. So I'm going to cut it at three and a half. By <laughs> one, two, by one and three quarter. And I'm sorry, I'm not bringing my cutting board up. And then let me do, I'll just do that border tag again. That whole, take the ribbon out. <clears throat> Hopefully I got that straight.
I haven't gotten into digital crafting, and honestly, I don't think I want to. I know everybody raves about crickets and all that stuff, but I, I don't know that I use it, number one. And number two, I don't have room, and I don't really have time to do anything else. And I love working with my hands, so I don't think that. Okay, Jackie, restart. Okay. I'm going on to the next page. I don't know what I'm going to put in this pocket yet, so I have to think about that, too. I'm going to have trouble covering this one up. Maybe a side pocket on this one, I think. And then we have a side pocket over there as well. Because I have this scrap. This is Flirty Flamingo. It looks more peachy, doesn't it? Maybe we'll do one of these kind of things. Not that wide. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, where's that? Or I don't like that either. Where's my um, <clears throat> soft sea foam? I have a scrap here. Uh, it's not big enough. Shoot. Okay. Make sure that's really flirty flamingo, that other one, because it, it looks so dark compared to those flowers. Don't not liking that. Maybe I'll just do lovely lipstick. The rest of that sheet. But do I want it there or do I want it here? Because one of the things you have to watch is you have to watch that your book can still open once you're tucking stuff in each way. Or I actually could do a diagonal pocket if I have a big enough piece of paper. Oh, whoops, I skipped a page. I skipped a page, guys. You didn't even tell me. <laughs> That's good, Barbara. Yay. I came back. Oh, no, I was lost, but now I'm fine. Found? I'm fine. That's really weird. It's not buffering on my end at all. I wonder if I bumped the cord or something. I don't know. Put it in the middle. like You mean like a belly band? Yeah, I could do a belly band. Maybe I'll do this one and do the reverse color. That's what I'll do. I'll do a belly band. For the belly. <laughs> The belly of the paper um, and I need it to be five and five eighths so it'll go like this oops yeah and then we'll just tuck something in under there good idea that's what we're doing Now, in my last flip book, I did a waterfall on, um, let me show you where I had it. Oops. And I could do that, but I don't know that I'm up for that tonight. Double one. Yeah, I don't know if I remember how I did those double ones. I missed a pay. Yeah, thank you, Alicia. Um. So that's going to be a belly band. I think it would have been on this one that I did a waterfall, but I think I'll do it on this one because I don't. This is not my favorite paper. Um, so we have a pocket, pocket, belly band, which I have to figure out what to put in there. Let's do a waterfall. So we need some paper about. <clears throat> yeah. Kind of so disorganized tonight. I lost my ruler again, too. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Oh, my gosh. It is buried somewhere. Anyway, I need some papers about this thick. Nope, that's too thick. About... About... 
maybe that eh, a little wider than that actually all right we'll figure it out i have to cut some more paper And um, actually another option instead of a waterfall is I could make a little envelope. Maybe I like that idea better. Let's make a little envelope and put it here and you can put something in it then. Mm. Now the thing is with my little one, two, three punch board, I'd have to figure out what size so oh this is the bag Ugh, wrong punch Oops. here it is this is it Get rid of this <laughs> okay so um let's see our paper is four and a quarter wide we could do a three and a half by three and a half. Nope, that paper has to be. I can't go any bigger than a six inch paper. So how about we do a three by three and a half envelope? So the paper needs to be five and three quarter. I'm sorry, the connection's bad. My, it's fine on my end, but I have super high speed everything. Um supposedly although every now and then i have trouble too but not lately well if it's really bad guys we can stop and maybe we can pick this up another time i don't know just cutting this paper down to five and three quarter this will be the outside so i want to do this on here and then um, we have to do it at two and five eighths punch guide. Two and five eighths. And that one has its own score thingy, but I'm going to use this one. I hope this works. rates should be there. And let's see how that let's see how that works. to round the corners <laughs> that'd be cute <clears throat> and I usually save these things but I'm not tonight maybe you have the never the newer version um, okay well that's the this is that one two three punch board see one two three it's a little different than the original punch board but it's very similar it makes envelope bows and boxes and I think one of the I don't know hang on I'm closing my glue so it doesn't dry out uh, does the original punch board have this um, arm that comes out so you can use it for bigger paper you can make um, up to seven by seven card size envelope. So your paper size would be like almost a 12, but it's like 11 and a quarter um, or six and a half by eight and a half, which is 11 and seven, eight. So big, big enough um, on, on this anyway. It doesn't have that. Yeah. That, that comes in really handy when you have to do the bigger envelopes. So I really like it. And I, I either, like I said before, I either got it on sale at one of those big box stores a year or two ago, or, and it, and it does have the, uh, it does have a rounder just like the envelope punch board does. So corner rounder. 
which I'm only going to just do these two ends. Oh, I used the wrong one. <laughs> uh, and I even have something written there, but did I read it? No. Corner slitter. This is the corner rounder, and it says it right there. Let's see if that's probably going to be messed up now. Yeah. Oh, well. Shoot. Uh, I may have to get another piece of paper out. Well, this one I can sort of hide if I go like this. This one I can put bling on or something. <laughs> Does anybody use that corner slitter? You know, it makes these little, I guess, for little tucks. You know what? I'm going to have it up anyway. So, might be, yeah, it'll just have some kind of decoration there. There's ways to fix everything. You have a frame punch board that I really need. I'll probably de stash that too. You don't really need. Thank you, Brandy. I'm trying, but I'm clearly messing some things up. I'm sniffling away here too which is not good. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to glue that down about in the center, hopefully, and we're going to glue that down too, and then we'll put some kind of decoration up there <clears throat> to cover up that little slit boo-boo. <laughs> Do you guys have any requests for lives, any techniques you want me to show or anything? Um, put them in the comments below the video once it goes up. Because, um, I don't know, otherwise you'll be getting probably lots of cards. Because this kind of stuff takes a while. You love rounded corners, yeah. No way, it's looking good and you are doing good. Thank you, Brandy. Yeah, I like rounded corners too. Um, but I also like Stampin' Up! has this thing and it does pretty rounded corners and then just a rounder. And then this has the tag uh, little oval that I used on here to do that tag. I don't know what to put in the pockets. I'm thinking maybe little cards or something, you know, gift it to somebody with little cards or something in it. I'll figure that out. That might be the next video. Maybe we'll get the decorating done and then what goes in the pockets will be. <laughs> I got that on Crooked, I think. Anyway. <laughs> All right. This can be a waterfall, I guess. I must hate to cover it. So, yeah, here's what we're looking like. All right. Let's do this. Mm, we're back to the I don't know what paper to use. This has balmy blue in it. Um, I could do a double. I will do a double slant pocket on this one. Maybe with balmy blue or seafoam green. So I don't think I have enough seafoam. Nah. Um, and then I could actually use that same paper. Or not. <laughs> Mm, don't like that. <clears throat> I'm just looking for the color combination right now, guys. But <sighs> those are too little. Yeah, they could be, but that's I need to put stuff on. There we go. I don't need to put as much on pages like this because there's going to have something stuck uh, in the pocket coming out, but I'll put some ribbon or something on it. Um, and I love this paper, so I'm having trouble covering it all up. That's why I'm thinking maybe a corner pocket. But I think I like the seafoam green, soft seafoam better. Hang on. And I don't know. I thought I got out a piece of... Um, 
designer series paper and soft sea foam, but maybe I didn't. How about that? Like that with I don't know if I want more of the same on top, something like that. Or that, like that. Soft sea foam in the background with that on it. How's that? Okay, I missed something. Uh, what does what count? Okay, question. I understand you need. Oops, I just it just went away. So many hours. Sorry, Jackie. Yes, watching live videos counts. You think the other way looks great. You mean like that and then that? Yeah, you might be right, actually, Brandy. I have to get a bigger piece of this. So, let me find one. A uh, bigger piece of the one with the red. <clears throat> okay, or... Or I could just do... Nah, two... Two, two. Where's the one with the red? Or that one. How about that one? Not enough dark. I think I like the darker color with it better. Um, hang on, I need a bigger piece of that. I have to find it. Solid behind the red. Okay. But you were thinking the same color on the sea foam. Like, like this. But then the flowers are going the wrong direction, I think. I don't know. I'm kind of liking, kind of liking that one. With some of the sea foam sticking out. Uh -huh. Or... Where's that balmy blue again? <laughs> There's a little bit of balmy blue in there, but I'm kind of liking the sea foam better, maybe. No, I like the sea foam better. Even though I'm not usually a green person. And then I'll cut this. Okay, let me get the sea foam cut. So we need... <laughs> I knew what I do with my ruler. So it's about a five. I, I think I'm going to do it this way and notch it. Just go in a little bit, up a little bit. Put the ruler back. My other ruler, but I don't like that one as well. No, there it is. So I think we'll go, oh, and look, this has polka dots, so I can actually even maybe sort of kind of get a straight line going down the polka dots. <laughs> yeah, I like blue, I like green and blue together, um, but I also like pink. I think I just saw more. I think that'll work. More um, green in this background paper than I do blue. All right, let me cut this if I can. Figure out how to do it. <clears throat> I'm using my Stampin' Trimmer thingy. That I'm having trouble seeing right now. <clears throat> See how that turned out. A little short on the bottom. Actually, how did I do that? <laughs> That's how I drew it. Well, that'll be all right. Be like a tuck spot. I don't want to cover up too much of this pretty paper anyway. And then maybe this will fit. 
maybe it's use this. No. <coughs> Sorry, guys. More stripes. Yeah. Where's the one I was going to use? The dark red. Whatever did I decide. Yeah, see if that looks better. I agree. Okay. So now let me take this. And I'm going to trace the same shape. And then I'm going to just trim it down a little bit. Because otherwise, my brain is not going to go into measuring mode right now. Um, I'm going to probably be able to do that. All right, here's my stamp and trimmer. Do it in the light. Put it at an angle. And maybe if I just go in a little to the... First, let's line it up. And then let's slide it over just a tad. And now let's try it. <laughs> Ah, didn't cut that little bit. Scissors. I think I need a, I think I need a new blade soon. It did cut it. It just didn't. Ugh. Sorry. It's funny because my nose was not this bad all day, but now it's really, really dripping. Okay, let's see how that looks. I might have to trim it a little more. Yeah, I do. I want more green to show. So. That's what we'll do. little tuck spot and then we can do other embellishments and stuff somewhere on here oh, I can't believe you guys are still hanging with me I'm so happy <laughs> so what are you guys having for dinner tonight anything good go ahead and make me hungry <laughs> Fish fry. Mmm, yum. Good question, says Kat. I made it longer on two sides. All right, now, yeah, I have to do this side and this side and glue it down. So we actually still have a tuck spot. Because I do silly stuff sometimes, like, glue it down after I wanted it to be a pocket and it's not a pocket anymore it's just a decorative something usually I'm pretty good about it now and sometimes I do use like tear and tape or red line tape but not on these um thin glues you know because sometimes your papers will stick to them but you have to let this dry All right, I think time to do some ribbony stuff and decorating, and then we have to call it a night. All right, so we were gonna do this and this. But I have to be careful with that doily. It can go under the flap, but I have to make sure the heart doesn't. Ooh, air fryer. Yum. You know what, though? My friend Charlie had an air fryer. I guess if you're just making it for yourself, it's all right. But ugh. you always want to rip the paper and ink the edges. Oh, you know what? I did ink the edges on the last one it, because it was, um. here's that piece. It was a vintage look, but I... For Valentine's Day, and because there's a lot of white in this, I'm just going to leave it with white. I'm just having a problem with how is this going to 
fit here like that. Originally I was going to angle it, but I think I like the angle of the heart going with that. But we need some, we need, some, we need to do the backing, the back stuff first. And you know what? I don't have my hot glue going on. Oops. <laughs> I need the hot glue for the binding. So let me bring that out and everything's falling. Get my cup off my hot glue mat <clears throat> and figure out where I'm going to put it. I'm really bad about forgetting to unplug my hot glue gun and I have to really watch it because I have a kitty cat roaming around. She doesn't usually come up here much unless somebody's with her, but the hand rip look. Yeah, you know, one of the other things I want to do on one of these is I want to alter, um, I think, I'm going to be altering composition books and um, Nada, Nada Creations here on YouTube. When I met her and Judy Evans Parker and Isabel, Crafting with Isabel in person. YouTube, okay. Um, she did a technique where you tore paper, you put, um, in fact, I could do something like that down here and make it look like flowers. That's what I'm missing. Hearts and flowers go good together because there's flowers on here. Or I could be lazy and just go dig my flower box out. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm needing some flowers. And Velcro, obviously, on here. All right, let me glue this doily down. I definitely know I'm doing the doily there. Onto the shiny. Oh, no, wait. See, that's the pearl eye side. Yeah, all right. I'll go with the pearl eye side. And what tastes like? Um, I bought a some kind of a copper pan. It goes in the oven, but it your food is like lifted up, and that I think does similar to what the air fryer does. But you just bake it in the oven, and it makes stuff crispy. My problem is I tucked it away, and I forget to pull it out and use it. <laughs> anyway, um, I actually was good. I thawed out. Well, I don't know if it's good. It's good eating, but I thawed out too. Um, steaks and I don't know if they're I can't remember if they're ribeye or um I think they're New York strip steaks those two are my kind of my favorites as steaks go I had bought a box of steaks from somewhere not one of those male things um like not Kansas City steak quality so I don't know if they're any good but I'm gonna make that tonight because we've been eating off of um they made a whole chicken the other a couple days ago, and we've been eating that for two days. So, um, anyway, turkey breast cutlet sounds good. Baked mixed veggies and yellow ass sounds good. Healthy, healthy. Yeah, my friend Charlie used to make, he called it Charlie's Fried Chicken. It was basically, tastes like, sort of like KFC. And he pressure cooked fried it, but, and it was so good. But now he had heart issues a year or so ago. And um, that's a once in a while thing now. Uh, well, join the crowd, Brandy. That's why I keep wanting to go back on that Shred 10 thing. But... I haven't been um, able to because I went instead. I went on the chicken broth, hot tea, and Jello and water diet. <laughs> I guess it depends on what you air fry, Clay. Because if you put in frozen French fries that have already been fried and you air fry them, then it's really not that much healthy, healthier. 
and the breading. I have to watch the breading. I'm trying to do gluten-free, dairy-free. Um, and I don't really miss the dairy except one thing, my French vanilla coffee creamer. But I'm not supposed to have caffeine now either. So, <laughs> Aww. Then you need to go for it, Brandy. You need to do it. You can do it, girl. I can do it, too, once I'm better, if I get my butt out exercising and stuff. We can both do it. And this goes, I don't know where this, oh, this goes in like, oh, scoreboard. I have so much stuff here. How much time are we at here? 5.30. So we're at, like, two hours and 15 minutes already. <laughs> uh mind over pain i do miss chicken fingers too you know what they have gluten-free ones though um that aren't too bad and my grocery store has some blueberry waffles you only get six in a box and they're expensive but they're gluten-free too yeah i don't like the non-dairy coffee cream or the powdered stuff Ugh, i don't like it as much i got spoiled with like nestle's or um international delights sugar-free french vanilla um, i use almond milk now actually alicia i like almond milk too or almond i don't know how you say it i say almond some pay, say potato some say potato potato anyway um yeah i like and i do put that in but it doesn't seem to have as much flavor as um, you know, the regular creamers and stuff. So for you, so do you like the hemp? I've never heard of hemp milk before. I'm going to have to look that up. Does it make it creamier than like almond milk does? Almond milk, whatever. Okay. I need one of these jobs. I'm going to put the Velcro on, then I'm going to do the lace trim. I think what I'm going to do is put this one on first. And then stick that onto there. And then close it. Ta-da! Velcro's on. <laughs> that was probably the easiest part. I, like I said, I did a magnet the last time, but yeah, just couldn't deal with that tonight. <clears throat> okay, let's do the lace trim. And we're, I think I am going to use this frilly girly stuff here. And I think I'm just going to, now see, that might be going to interfere with that heart. I might just let it loose and just glue it on the binding. If I can do it fast enough. Oh, I forgot to put my little thing on my finger. I'm not supposed to drink... Uh, caffeine so lately i've been drinking a lot of herbal teas um and some regular tea too but um i'm trying to buy like tetley decaf or the regular but i i like peach and peach mango those flavors i like that mint chamomile for at night time um so i like tea too and Years ago, I was a tea drinker before coffee, and then working made me get into coffee. Yeah, that's true. What I don't drink um, is soda. Uh, the only soda I ever drink now, well, usually is like ginger ale if I have an upset stomach or something, and I only buy it when I need it, so... Because all that coloring and all that stuff in it, it's just empty calories, first of all. 
I think I'm just going to leave it frilly like that, but cut some of this off down here. Which you probably can't see. I'm going to leave that up there. And this has a little piece here sticking out. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute. I might need a little, little more glue on that one part. No, I don't. A, I don't like the fizz. It does a number on me. Um, even, even just the fizzy waters and stuff, I don't buy them anymore either. Very often. Once in a great while. Because... I'm not, I'm trying also not to have sugar or sugar substitutes. Thank you, Clay. You didn't chee or make mate cosido. Excuse me, I never heard that. Is that the brand? Or where is it? <laughs> what is that? Okay. I have to figure some stuff out here. Oh, um, let me dig through my box. Mm, yeah, I, I, actually, I more need something here. Let me find some kind of trim for there. Polka dot trim. But then I should have had it down before the heart. Yeah, that's in there. Thin little trim. I could cut it and make it go like here. I think I'll just do that. Okay. And for that, I guess I'll just use hot glue. string. Hey, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Do you see the front? It goes like that. Except I have glue strings everywhere. And I don't know. I might put something else over here, too. Like a little blingy heart. A big blingy heart. That would be nice. Hang on. <clears throat> Rooting through my stuff that I have too much of. <laughs> How about a blingy heart? Google eye blingy heart now. Nah. <laughs> oh, this is cute. See, I have. This is cute too. What I got? I might go somewhere in here. I just found this too. Hmm. Thank you, Alicia. It's an herb called ye yerba mate. People drink it in. Oh, I never heard of it. Thanks, Donna. Are you doing Valentine's tonight at seven? Cool. So we'll get off of here at six, <laughs> even if I'm not done and I'll finish it off camera. Let me finish what I was working on though. Cause you know, I got a half a ribbon here. That doesn't look very good. And let me snip this. It has to go. Let's see, which way did I have that going? Well, it doesn't really matter. We're just matching that up to there and it'll probably be crooked, but you know, that's me. I was looking for, I had some hearts that have like somewhere in this box of stuff I have. I have some hearts that have like um, dots in them kind of thing. So this is Stampin' Up! Lovely Lipstick Little uh, 1 8 inch ribbon, guys. I just put on. Oh, maybe I could put a button on the front. Mm, I don't think that's blingy enough. 
but I could put a white button here. That's kind of cute. The problem with button C, that's that's getting too bulky. Well, I'm going to wait on that because it might be too bulky. Oh, Donna, I didn't. Well, I don't know if I got mine today. I haven't got the mail in yet. Hurry, girl. <laughs> Uh, no, I have not tried kombucha, I don't think, unless somebody gave it to me and I didn't know what it was, because I have traveled to some uh, overseas countries and other people did the ordering, and um, I couldn't tell you what I was eating, and I really love some of it, but I don't know what it was called or anything. Let's put... Um, Donna, I'm not too good at hurrying. <laughs> Hi, Misty. How are you? Did you see the front? Like that? I, I got to do something on here yet. but And then here I had to tuck something in. And just trying to bling this up a little bit because it needs something a little sparkly. So I'm thinking one of these epoxy hearts on the pink. That way it doesn't change the color, but it adds some sparkle, maybe. Although I have this big bin of Valentine's stuff down here on the floor next to me. That might work. If I get it on straight. I should learn to use tweezers for stuff like this. That's a little bit of sparkle, not too much. I don't know. You can't really see it, can you? Maybe I'll wink a Stella that heart, too. And maybe stamp a few little... That's what I could do. I could stamp... Oh! If I can stamp it right, I can just stamp in lovely lipstick some little hearts down here. I have this itty-bitty little heart here. I'll find another stamp block A. Oh no, little dude is sick too. I've been sick for a week and I'm just getting better, believe it or not. I can talk now. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Aren't you so happy that I can talk? <laughs> Ta-da! I think that that added something there and it doesn't add dimension that was lovely lipstick and this little heart <clears throat> is out of the meant to be meant to be stamp set oh no oh no i haven't had that going around up here that i know of hope we don't get that too mine is ear nose and throat and well, it started off with scratchy throat and body aches. Leather. You know what? I have some leather in my jewelry stuff, and I could do that someday. But I've never made TNs or anything. All right, guys, I don't know what I do with the what I do with those hearts. <laughs> I am losing stuff like you wouldn't believe. Let me just put them in the stamp bin. Oh, my word. Oh, I'll put them in backwards. They're in the packet. Duh. <laughs> I had to figure out what to put behind the belly band. Uh, maybe I'll make a three by three little card or something. I said that before. I'll do that later. Or actually, I can maybe make a card to put in here. In the other book, I made a thing that slipped in here and then it had like it could say Happy Valentine's Day on here that is an idea i can stamp happy valentine's day let me get a piece of whisper white scrap if i have any big enough i do no i don't <laughs> i thought i did i do it's a little bit too thick but i can stamp happy valentine's day and have it coming up here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm doing that. 
Oh, wow, J.W. There is a virus going around that mimics the flu for two. Yeah, maybe that's what I have, but it's not a stomach bug. Yeah, it's the cough that won't go away and the sniffles that won't go away either. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day. Where'd you go? Here you are. So I'm using the meant to be set in the B mine. I'm going to cut out a pretty fancy heart in a little bit. And um, I think, hmm, I think what I'm going to do is stamp this in lovely lipstick, but then I'm going to background stamp in Flirty Flamingo for Soft Sea Foam. And get it right set up. Yeah, mine, mine was like my throat felt like I swallowed two baseballs or something for like three days. I had laryngitis. That was after the sore throat and body aches and ear aches and stuff. Um, perfect. Well, I don't know if I cut it straight, it'll be perfect. <laughs> Let's see, did I miss something? You want that set? You can get it. You know where I am. <laughs> Donna, you were going to email me something about stamping up too. Did I miss that? or? Well, they have this one and they have another one called Forever Lovely, I believe. And uh, actually this hit me. Sunday night a week ago at 10 p.m. We had taken my mother to see um, Mary Poppins and I was fine. I was fine all through the movie. I ate fine and everything. I can't cut straight either. Anyway, and then um, and I'm going to use this one. I'm going to actually background stamp in soft sea foam because that's kind of what's over here. And I don't want too much flirty flamingo. Um, anyway, 10 o'clock that night. I just was like sitting there watching Netflix or something. And all of a sudden my whole body started hurting. My throat got really sore. It just like smacked me. And then the next couple days were like horrible. And even Wednesday I was still sick. And I had to take my mom to a doctor appointment on Wednesday and on Thursday. And I'm like, I really shouldn't be doing this, but I had to. Probably should cut the piece of paper before I am just doing real faint stamping off and stamping background. I did that wrong. Um, in seafoam green, this fancy heart kind of all over here. And maybe one more. And then I lost my voice the next day. So Thursday, so Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday, I came home from taking mom to the um, doctor and I was actually physically starting to feel better. And Friday, I had absolutely no voice. I was starting to feel better except my throat. Every morning I'd wake up and I, I really literally felt like I swallowed two baseballs, one on each side. And I was thinking to myself, if I'm not better by... Um, Monday, I was going to go to the doctor. And then Friday, I lost my voice. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm, I can't even call the doctor because nobody could hear me. <laughs> and that was bad for um, Sunday. It started coming back. But um, what doesn't hurt you long term? Yeah, I can show you Forever Lovely. See, this is Forever Lovely. The papers I'm using are all my love designer series paper. But this stamp set here is all my uh, forever lovely. It has flowers and hearts and stuff in it. It's pretty. I didn't. I don't have that one to show you. Um, and it comes with. Well, it doesn't come with. You can buy it as a bundle with these lovely flowers, edgelets dies. But I'm using the paper from that and the, some of the ribbon and there's heart epoxy droplets. The one I have been showing is this meant to be. And it has these B mine. Oh, that's what I want to do too. Um, these B mine stitched framelits dies. It has, well, they're kind of a mess in here right now, but 
it has this beautiful heart I love some borders this cuts out a bazillion little hearts and then regular scallop stitched hearts or plain stitched hearts and then these fancy ones like so and that comes in a bundle too if you're interested you're getting the be mine one or the forever lovely yeah i'm on the mend now but my nose is running and <clears throat> my throat's still a little scratchy and all that jazz so but i'm getting there i feel a lot better now than i did just just a couple days ago so the only bad news about that is pretty soon i'll have to go back to the real weight lifts program <laughs> all right i'm going to cut this at three and a half and then see that that'll fit yep and then cut it at like four three and three like this and i'm gonna do something pretty on the edges i think i should have cut that just a tad longer but let me get my detailed punch out <coughs> Detailed trio punch, and we're going to fancy up the corners here. And just the top, I think. We'll go like that. And then I need some kind of a blingy thing up there. That was the detailed trio punch, by the way. You like the heart, you, the um, Be Mine dies, Jackie? I don't know which heart you mean. The dies or the or the stamps. I like them all, but I love this heart. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with this. Maybe right there. Let me see. I don't know if I want it there or no, there's too many hearts there. So I think I'm gonna do it here and just put a heart right there. All right, now what color should I use? Lovely lipstick or white? Yeah, you spend $50 and you get to pick some, an item out of celebration. And you don't have to order the $50 out of um, um uh, occasions you can order it out of the annual you can order it off the um the clearance rack a combination of all the above but every for every 50 you spend you add more you like the sea foam this is actually not orange it's coming across that way it's called um flirty flamingo i don't know my color thing on my computer yeah that looks orange too but it's like a pink it's a flamingo pink <laughs> You think green? Hi, Penny. All right, well, we'll try it. Now, let me find my little scrap of sea foam. Let me cut that out. I'm out of room. <laughs> I'm moving my cup around to get stuff off my big kick. All right, let's try it. This is a long live, guys. Trying to hurry, Donna, but I'm a I'm a slow cooker. So I just ran that back and forth, and actually, you can keep these pieces and stencil them or something too, which is stuff I like to do too. Keep stencils. Oh well, this piece come pops right out of the center. And I'll probably have to use my little um, pokey tool thing. Yep. Which you can use. In fact, I'll just do that. I'll use the one that's in here. I have another one, but I'll use this one. Because this is the Stampin' Up! Take Your Pick tool, which is still available. And it has, it comes with two of these putty ends, the um, scrapey paddle end, and then this pokey thing. Yeah, it is. I see that now on my screen. It does look that way, but it's not in real life, which is I have to check my computer colors or something. How do you do that? How do you check your computer color stuff? 
or where, what menu. <laughs> uh oh. That is my mother calling. I have her on silent, but what time of night is it? Oh. Hang on, guys. Hello? Hi, how are you doing? Okay, what's up? Mm hmm. Yes, I'll go before Wednesday, yes. Yes, Mom. Hang on. Mom, can I can I call can I call you back? Like tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you then. Mm, bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, guys. When your mother's 90 years old, you never know what it is. Hey, Joanne. I'm on really. Hi, Jason. What else did I miss? I'm popular. <laughs> I don't know if, oh, well, hey guys, yeah, don't forget I got 14 thumbs up, but I don't know how many are watching. Only 11 now, but if you didn't give me a thumbs up, would you mind doing that, please? It really helps me get um, my channel out there better so I get more people coming on. This is going to be slow. I maybe shouldn't have done this, but I think it's going to be pretty there. Oh, yeah, I like that. A green heart. <laughs> My mother's fine. She wanted to give me a shopping list to shop for her before Wednesday next week because I'm not going back until Wednesday because I'm like, uh, this is not urgent. I can get this um, tomorrow morning on the phone. I was just there. I went in on Wednesday just to drop her laundry off because I didn't want to be around her much because I don't want her to get sick. <laughs> Sicker, you know, being 90. That's fine. What are you having for dinner? We were talking about dinner earlier. Oh, the dentist. Oh, you poor thing. I hope it went well. Dennis and I, we don't get along too good. I mean, we I get along. I don't fight with them or anything, but I just have had so much dental work done, and my teeth are still a mess, and I don't trust a lot of the dentists around here. They try and take advantage of people. And the insurance is wacko for dentists, too. I hope nobody's a dentist. Because <laughs> I, I love my dental hygienist. She's so sweet. But I... Uh, and I do go every six months faithfully. But when I was young, I had braces for four and a half years. And I had to have like eight teeth pulled before they even did that. Swedish meatballs, yum. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm glad you're back, Alicia. I think we're going to wind this down pretty soon so I can cook and have my dinner while I watch Donna's live. <laughs> Because she's making valentines. I already made two sets of valentine cards. One for Paige. Um, actually, they were both for cards with Paige and Peggy. Some were like little box cards. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, Dennis. Yeah, let's switch back to valentines. <laughs> I had to have eight teeth pulled for that. And then later I had my all four wisdom teeth pulled because they were bony and packed. That was when my daughter was like one and a half or two. And... um. That was a mess, but anyway. And now my dentist wants me to have two more molars pulled, and I'm like, uh, I don't want to do that. I want to keep my teeth as long as I can, but I don't know. And my teeth, of course, pushed back. They didn't stay where they looked so pretty when I graduated from high school with my nice straight teeth, and now they're crooked again. You know, doing a card without stamps and a tray with Dollar Tree items. Oh, cool. Did I show you the tiny boxes I made? No, I don't think so, Clay. You know what? Yes, you can have implants done, but have you ever priced that? They wanted my brother to do that, have all his teeth pulled and have implants done, but 
it was like forty thousand dollars. I mean, you might as well take out a mortgage. So no, I haven't. At least I haven't even started. That's on my weekend to do. I saw um, Joyce's video yesterday, today. I think it was yesterday where she got three swaps in already. Uh, Alicia and I make both make jewelry and we're in um, Joyce McTeer has a channel where she does a live on Friday nights. She makes jewelry pretty much only and not paper crafting and stuff. Um, anyway, we got into this live with her and I don't get to all the lies because usually I'm not home on Friday nights when she has it. But um, I had been last week because I was sick and I probably will be this week. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> anyway, um, so um, somebody named Lorraine had suggested we do swaps and that, that we remember I showed you the Dollar Tree jewelry I made out of Dollar Tree stuff on my a video. And then I showed what I got. I got in from Nicole McLeod. McLeod, McLeod. Um, anyway. Oh, who's leaving? Bye, Jackie. Be safe going home. I'm glad you like it, Jackie. Thank you. Did you finish it? That's cool. Alicia, you're so good. Alicia made a really pretty set um, for the Dollar Tree one. So she makes really pretty jewelry too. But Alicia also does paper crafting and fabric and stuff. So anyway, but we met through, we're kindred jewelry making spears and Clay makes jewelry too. In fact, I don't know, maybe I'm one of the ones that got him into paper crafting. <laughs> and he now has a new addiction, I guess, too. So yeah anyway um these these uh real thin tip bottles are great for doing these fine delicate um pieces to put on so and i'm gonna make that cover up that one little boo-boo thing there there we go beautiful <laughs> Okay, where are we? Six o'clock. Oh, I got you into paper crafting too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Paige. Um, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to stop here because it's all decorations. And then what I'll do is a separate video showing how I finished everything off because this is getting too long, even though I love talking with y'all. Um, but I do need to cook dinner and have it ready for when my son gets home for, he doesn't get home to 1130, but I need to eat. And then I usually put his in the fridge. Oh, that's right. I remember you telling me that clay, the craft channel, because you mentioned it to me. I started paper crafting when Misty and I did a, um, well, I actually started in planning because I was watching some planner videos. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Misty. So, yeah, my paper crafting addiction began with Misty and doing a pocket letter swap back in January of 2017. And that's when I did my first YouTube video. So, yeah, blame Misty, everybody. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, I have a bead and jewelry making addiction and a paper crafting and ribbon addiction. Yes, I love ribbon, especially fancy frilly stuff like this. So I need to figure out something for over here and maybe down here. I need to do something here and figure out what I'm going to put in here. Maybe this will be the card pocket because it's the first pocket. I have a little tag here, but we need some blingy bling up here and something down here. I need to also figure out something to put in here. What would you put in the belly band? Help, help. <laughs> You're welcome, Barbara. I hope it was helpful or fun or something. No, don't go. Oh, yeah, I need to. I need to give my throat rest or I'll have laryngitis again. <laughs> yeah, I, I have not gotten into junk journals. I just can't. Um, I don't know what it is. I can't bring myself to to do this. I'm, um, 
I'm going to stick this down. Do you guys ever see these? I, um, all right, another five minutes. That's a good idea, Paige. Thank you. Die cuts and large hearts. And yes, I, I could put a... Oh, maybe I'll do a pocket with... Um, I thought about the little notebook, too. These are reusable squares, and I probably cut this a little too short, and it doesn't stay up to, so you can see the Valentine's Day. So they're double stick, but you can pull them off, and they don't hurt the paper. I love them. I get them probably, I think I get them at Walmart. Um, so we're going to put that about there, so that Happy Valentine's Day sticks up. And then I'm thinking putting a little white heart with maybe some sparkly twine through it if I can get it through the hole. Probably not. With a little bow. Probably the wrong color. Mm, too thick. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, somewhere around here I have some real thin little white twine. Or maybe I can pull some of this apart. A heart tag. Yeah. What do you need in your craft room? <laughs> I have some fake money. I got it as a Christmas present two years ago. <laughs> no, that doesn't. Well, I don't know. I don't know who this is going to. I was going to make one for each of my granddaughters, in which case I would just give stickers and stuff in there. But. I'll just pull this little bit of this down, I guess. But then you lose the sparkle. Oops, that's not going to work. All right, hang on. Hang on. I need a piece long enough to tie a bow. That's not going to work. Um, pen and thread. Oh, oh, this is probably just as thick. This is really pretty. It's silver and petal pink. This looks like more like the flirty flamingo -y though, or blushing bride or something. Oh, I know what. I know what. Maybe rose gold thread. The sticky squares that are removable. Yes, okay. They're by Scotch. Restickable. They have them permanent too, but these are restickable. No, you don't want to see a picture of myself in here. <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed, I don't really like the way I look. And um, that's why I don't do too many face to face lives and stuff. But I have to get better about that, I'm told. <clears throat> so. All right, let me double this up and see if it'll fit through the heart and still be long enough to tie some kind of a little bow with it. Yeah, yeah it'll definitely be long enough. No, I'm not, Donna, but thank you. <laughs> that has not been a word used to describe me all my life. Well, once or twice, but when I was much younger. <laughs> much younger. And my teeth were straight. And I wasn't old and wrinkly. <laughs> Actually, for my age, I think I do look okay. But, um, oh well, it's that age thing creeping up on me. Actually, it's kind of starting to slam me in the face real hard lately. But I was doing pretty good till this year. Thank you, everybody. No, I can't. I'm not. No, I'm not going to do that, Clay. To me, GoFundMes are for people in serious, you know, like need serious operations, not just beautification. I know they use them for everything, but no, <laughs> not going to happen. 
And like my brother, I don't know, not only the money, I don't know that my bone structure is, is strong enough to do those kind of things. So I don't think it's, uh, it is. And I don't know if you all know it, but a couple of years back, I broke my nose because, and it's a long story and it wasn't, nobody hit me or anything like that, even though the people at the doctor's office thought somebody did. That didn't work. Um, I fell on a street. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming in, Misty. You have a great evening, too. Hey, guys, and don't forget, Misty, Joanne, and I, we're having our hop starting on Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern. The three of us are Stampin' Up! demonstrators, and hopefully we'll get more of us um, joining in in future months. But right now it's the three of us and we have a theme. We're not telling you what it is, a different theme each month. So be sure to come back on Sundays. I can't get this to work. It's too fine to tie it. So anyway, that I'm going to do something with this heart probably and put it up here. Once I figure out what to put through it, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, like the 1950s hops or 60s, 50s, I think, with those girls in poodle skirts and stuff. Yep. No, it just means you hop along to the next person. <laughs> You're so over pocket letters. I actually have to make a pocket letter for um, Polly's Pretties did a... It only ended up being four people, so me and one other lady are swapping. Gorgeous girl pocket, mini pocket letter. I'm going to make cards while I dance? No. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. Well, mm. I don't know if I could to be in a dentist chair that long clay <laughs> anyway all right i'm gonna go guys i will decorate this sometime probably over the weekend and um i'll do a video and show you the finished product because we're at i think uh three hours now so yeah we gotta get going yep get ready for yours Thank you, Donna. Thank you all for coming by. I love each and every one of you. I love having you here with me. Keep me company at night, especially afternoons and night when it's dark and dreary. Thanks, Paige. I hope it helped any of you decide to make some of these. They're fun. They're quick. They're normally not this long to do, but, you know, I'm gabbing and trying to read. So, um, yeah, have a good evening, everybody. What's left of it? Go check out Donna's live. Thanks, Barbara. And um, I don't know, maybe some lucky recipient will get this too. And I'll stamp my name and stuff on the back. I have to, I have to bling it up and all that good stuff. All right, I will talk to you very soon. Until then, bye for now. Bye, next. I didn't know you were still here. <laughs> Oh, wait, before I click in, I had to hit. Bye, all. Thanks so much.